All right then, Arsenal fans, Arsenal Bits, your Arsenal channel, and I am absolutely buzzing ahead of this weekend's game against Stoke. It's Sunday, it's a 1.30 kickoff, and I cannot wait to see Arsenal in action. Um, Wenger's press conference has filled me with more and more optimism, saying that the likes of Ozil and Ramsey, they're all back in contention. Giroud back from suspension. Are we, as fans, finally going to see a... Like our strongest attack force on one pitch, probably for the first time since um, Mesut Ozil came um, back a few years back. I mean, it's either been Mesut Ozil on the side with no Theo, and Theo without no Mesut Ozil, and Sanchez without Theo, and Sanchez without Ozil, and Ozil without Sanchez. It's, they seem to be missing every time one of them's on sort of on form. But at the moment, we have Mesut Ozil fit, we have Ramsey fit, we have Cazola fit, we have Sanchez fit, we have Walcott fit, we have Giroud back from suspension. What a front line, potentially, that Arsenal have to come up against a Stoke side that we all really want to beat. I, I really want to beat Stoke. You know, we um, folded very, very badly back at the Britannia back in December. I mean, 3-0 down at half time. It was sickening to watch. It was so horrible to watch. But I think at the Emirates, we've got an amazing record against them. I think since they returned in 2009, we've won every single match they've come to the Emirates. So we boast a very good record against the Stoke side that don't normally travel well away to the Emirates. But that saying, they are on good form this year, Stoke. You know, and the reality is they're only seven points behind us after 20 games. Now, that between us and the Stoke side should not be the gap. It should be 15, 20 points. But that we've got 18 more games to sort that out. That starts with tomorrow. Um, I cannot wait, as I've said. Um, I'm obviously going for an Arsenal win, and I feel that this could be... We, we haven't battered a side in a while, but Stoke don't normally take batterings. But with our front line tomorrow, I don't think Ozil will start... Um, I've got a feeling that Walcott might might not start. He his performance against Hull in the FA Cup wasn't exactly um, brilliant, but um, I don't think he'll start. But I wouldn't be surprised if he does. Like that, you know, that sort of thing. Um, I expect Cazola to retain his place. Um, Giroud's come straight back inside. We want Giroud back up front. We need our striker and obviously Alexis Sanchez. I think Chamberlain out ride White. Um, Sanchez on the left and maybe Cazola in the hole. But then you'll see Walcott on Ozil maybe later in the game if it's looking good for Arsenal. Um, so, I'm, so in conclusion really, I'm expecting to see a sellout Arsenal crowd. 60,000. No more of this Christmas malarkey now. We're back into the football season. Um, no two, three games a week. We should be playing our strongest eleven Because um, obviously... I mentioned all the attacking players. So good to see Koscielny. He was on the bench against Hull, but I think that he should be back in. Um, Flamini will probably come back in. I don't want to see Chambers back in that defensive midfielder position for another probably about three or four years yet. I'm hoping that we dip in the market, though, for one this January. Gundogan's been rumoured, but I'm not sure if that will be a summer move or a January move. But overall, um, in conclusion now to this video, I'm so, so happy that we've got our names back. Let's kick on now. Stoke at home before the big game at the Etihad next week. Let's get three points. Um, I'm going for a four... One Arsenal win. Uh, I reckon Sanchez will bag a few. Giroud will get one on his return. And maybe Gazzola or Chamberlain or someone like that will get the other. So um, it's one thirty at the Emirates tomorrow. We'll hope to see a lively crowd, a lively side, an excellent performance and a buoyant Arsene Wenger. Come on you Gunners!